I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Hi, I'm Jay Payne. And I was born in Chazy, New York, 1931. My middle name is Clinton. And the reason that name is picked out is because we lived in Clinton County, New York. And that's where I was born. My father's name was Ward Chester. My mother's name was Gladys Laura. And my brother's name was Lyndon Clyde. And my sister's name was Beverly Janice. And of course, my name was J. Clinton Payne. I was the youngest of the three of us. And my brother was two years uh, older than I. And we fought constantly. And uh, my sister would be the referee. She said, you're going to kill each other if you don't quit fighting. My mother was so disgusted of us fighting she said, if you don't quit, it, quit fighting, I'm going to leave. And we kept fighting, so she packed her bags and went to the railroad station to pick up a train to go to New Jersey to where her mother lived. And we had to go and beg her to come back, and we would not fight anymore. Well, so she came back, and that lasted about two weeks, and we started fighting again. We were very poor as everybody in the neighborhood was. There was only a few that had money. And, uh, but we always had plenty to eat because we had a cow and we raised two pigs and we had 50 chickens. And so every Sunday we'd have a chicken dinner. We had electricity in the house after I was probably three or four years old. And, but we did not have any water in the house or we did not have any uh, toilet facilities or you could take a shower or a bath. Uh, we didn't have in, indoor toilets. We had to use an outside toilet. And uh, it was a, kind of a tough life. We'd take a shower once a week, or a bath once a week in a tub, a little uh, probably three by three foot tub. And I'd be the youngest, would get to all the dirty water. When I was about uh, seven years old, on the way to school, I slipped on the ice and uh, broke my neck. And uh, so we were, back in those days, nobody thought too much about doctors. So I stayed home for about three days with a broken neck. And uh, finally, my mother said, I wasn't getting any better, so we'd take it to the hospital. And uh, the doctor said that it was okay, sent me back home. I went another four days and uh, my mother said, well, I'm gonna take you to a different doctor. So we went to a different doctor and uh, they immediately, after taking x-rays, uh, came right to the room and drilled holes in the inside of my uh, head where they put like ice tongs on it with weights to hold my uh, head up like this. And uh, then after I got out of that, like two, two months later or three months later, then they put me in a plaster of Paris cast right from here, around my arms, down to the middle of my stomach. And uh, that was not a pleasant thing. When I was 14 years old, uh, my father was a ra railroad ticket agent in the, the uh, head of the hotel, it was a Jewish hotel, uh, where you had to be Jewish to be there. And uh, he got my brother, who was 16, he got him a job, and then I got a job too at 14 as a busboy. My brother was a bellhop, and uh, we stayed there at the hotel. We had all our meals there, and my brother and I stayed in the same room together. And uh, then in, uh, I worked there for six summers, and uh, 
I did, I was at 16, I was a, a beach doorman. I parked cars when the guests come down from the beach. They were, the hotel was two miles away. And uh, so then I went back to uh, Bell Hoppin. And then the, the last year, the sixth year, I uh, was a front doorman. When I was on the front door, uh, one of the guests who was Irvin Berlin, uh, they called me up and said he was late getting his uh, train, so have his suitcase ready. And uh, so he came down, he gave me a $4 tip, and uh, I put the suitcase in the taxi, and uh, he got down the road and found out he had a top coat that was hanging there that I hadn't given him. So he said, have the coat, top coat uh, ready to push in the window when he got back. And so I did. And when I pushed it in the window, he had a few choice words for me. But <laughs> uh, when I was uh, in high school, uh, and see a senior, my mother was killed in an auto accident. And uh, so after she was killed, I just I graduated and uh, went and joined the army for three years, and I spent two and a half years in Germany during the Korean conflict. I was lucky; I went to Germany instead of Korea, but uh, it was good duty over there. And I had a 1935 Mercedes-Benz convertible while I was there and very few people had cars back in those days. And uh, so that was a nice. When my mother was killed uh, by a beer truck that came down the, and hit them, so he got $10,000 settlement. So he gave each one of us kids $2,300. And with the rest of the money, he got a gravestone and bought uh, big enough for eight people and uh, so who are the eight people so they uh, well so my mother and my was buried there my father is buried there my father's third wife uh, Ruby the Ruby and the first wife passed away after about six months with sugar diabetes and uh, so then my sister was on the front of the stone. In the back of the stone, my brother, Lyndon, and his wife are on there. And now my wife and myself will be on the other. That'll make the eight people. When I came out of the service, this friend of mine uh, knew my wife, Ruth Ann, and uh, wanted me to meet her. So I went and met her and uh, we, I tried to talk her to let me take her home, and she wouldn't do it. So anyways, uh, I needed to get a job, so I went to New Jersey uh, to the, get a job at the Ford plant. Well, uh, I, didn't, I made an application and didn't hear anything from them, so came back to Plattsburgh. Uh, and when I got back, I called my wife, or Ruth Ann, who wasn't my wife at that time, and uh, made a date with her. And uh, so we started going out from that point on, and 10 months later we got married. And uh, we were married for 66 years. And uh, we had a hard life, but a, a fun life too. So anyways, uh, we got married and we had uh, three kids. The first two were 11 months apart. The next two were 15 months apart. And so actually we had three in diapers at one time. And uh, my wife got sick and I had to clean the, the uh, diaper pail. And so I went and got a handkerchief and put it around my nose because I couldn't stand the smell. And, and uh, hung out I believe it was uh, 55 diapers at that time. Uh, 
So uh, that, that was not a fun time for me. <laughs> so we, anyway, we, uh, we had uh, three children. They uh, all did very well. Uh, luckily, none of them were on drugs, none of them were alcoholics, none of them had car accidents or tickets uh, or anything like that. And uh, so... How many grandchildren do you have? We had, uh, we have seven grandchildren and 11 great-grandchildren. And uh, so I can't name all the names because I, I can't remember half of them. <laughs> so being married 66 years, uh, we had our trials and tribulations. Things are not always smooth but you have to learn to overcome them. And there's two sides to every story. And sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, but you gotta admit that too. And uh, so the other thing is uh, when your children, but your wife tells the kids something, recommends them, and even though you might not agree with it, you got to back them up. And the same thing if I recommended she always backed me up. Most of all, I'm proud of my four children. And uh, we had uh, a lot of fun together. They knew when dad said something, he met it. And they all turned out well. And uh, so the, probably the proudest thing I had is when my daughter cut a record in Orlando on music she wrote and sang. And uh, I was at the place where she was cutting the record in Orlando. And when they played her song, I had a hard time keeping from crying because I was so proud of her. And even when I'm talking now, I'm choked up. So uh, that's about all I can say. And uh, sorry I have to leave you folks, but <laughs> It's time to go, and I want to end up with a song I love to sing and I love best. It's called My Way, and everything I did pertains to that song. The record shows I took the blow, and it is my way.